Why hello there fair audience, and welcome to this video about animation. First, I'm going to answer some of my thin questions to get this started up. Then, we're going to top it off with my big thick question. So, let's get started with our first question. How do you make an animation? Oh, Naran, it doesn't work. I drew a lot of pictures and just jumbled them together and it doesn't work. Well, the thing is, you can't expect a bunch of pictures to look good jumbled up together. So, firstly, let's have a look at Finn's videotape. Okay, just by looking at that videotape, I think we can all agree that it doesn't look that good. But the older ones out talked about this as well, and said... Just because you drew 24 Mowgli's doesn't mean they're going to look good when you play the frames together. And personally, I agree. First you need something called a storyboard, which is a basic little sketch of the animation before the actual animation actually gets animated, and it's briefly telling what happens. So firstly, we can make the little stick figure guy have a face, and then he can walk in and look at the camera sadly, and then sit down and curl up into a little ball. So, well, of course the stick figure guy doesn't need to be sad, but I'm just not going to change it because I have a full schedule and I'm really busy. So after, you trace the storyboard, and then you can put in-between drawings to make it look like a smooth animation. One great example being the parkour scene in the school video on my channel. And, of course, as you can see, it doesn't actually need to be too smooth. So, let's see that finished product. Yeah, okay, a bit short, but just add some sound effects and you'll be good. So let's slow it down a bit. As you can see, the stick figure guy bounces around a little bit. So this just goes to show that you don't need to make a new drawing every second. Which brings us to our next question. What is important about entertainment? Well, the odd ones are actually talked about this and said... People often tell me, oh, I want to make YouTube videos, but... Oh, my life's super boring. I wish I could have an exciting life like yours. And I always respond with, my most popular series is about me talking about working at a minimum wage small local sandwich shop. A script does not need to be an edge of your seat, high stakes level story. It needs to be an entertaining story. And I believe if told in a certain way, any story can be an entertaining story. And I found this really interesting because while researching, I found out that people like entertainment way more than high fantasy. And you may be thinking why. Well, there's actually a great reason behind this. First, I want you to think of the word animation. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Probably something like the amazing world of Gumball, or We Bear Bears, Teen Times Go, or even Oddballs. And let's just list off one thing that all of these shows have in common. Yes, that thing is entertainment. I mean, sure, they have a little bit of high fantasy, but only a little bit. If there's way too much high fantasy, the story is too unbelievable, and the plot line is just not imaginable, the viewers will not want to watch or read any of your stuff, because they think it's just way too imaginative. Which brings us to our next question. What ways can we present the animation? Well, First, let's list off the things that you shouldn't do. Firstly, don't shout at the top of your lungs, because a lot of YouTubers think that it's the best way to communicate with their viewers. Ah! 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 Hey, guys! And also, don't be too quiet either. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome to the video. And don't make your voice sound so excited they think you're Sesame Street. Ah, hey guys, are you ready to learn your A, B, C? No! We're not singing that song! Oh well, let's continue. Instead, you want to be excited. Not too excited they think you're a kid's show, and not too loud or quiet either. Which brings us to our next question. Our big thick question. How is entertainment important for animation? Well, you see, animation is normally known for being entertaining. And people want to keep it that way, since the funny drawings go well with humour, and I'm just so glad to be one of them. And I think you might enjoy making one too. So thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe, like the video, but other than that, bye, and I'll see you soon.